হাফুজুর রহমান লেকচারার ডিপার্টমেন্ট অফ আই সি টি মাইলস্টোন কলেজ আই হোপ ইউ অল আর ফাইন এন্ড সেফ বাই দ্য গ্রেস অফ অল মাই টি আল্লাহ এন্ড আই হোপ আলহামদুলিল্লাহ ইউ এন্ড ইউর ফ্যামিলি অল আর আর ওকে এন্ড বাই দ্য গ্রেস অফ অল মাই টি আল্লাহ তালা রিমাইন আস অ্যালাইভ ইন দিস প্যান্ডেমিক সিচুয়েশন এন্ড অল অফ দিস অবভিয়াসলি ইউ অল টাইম maintain the safety security and safety hygiene what we learn from tv and all other and other resources and i hope you obey all those rules and regulations and you don't go even any outside for any not silly reason please stay safe stay at home and obviously please in this situation maintain your regular study and what the instruction we give you to our whatsapp group from our authority and college please follow it obviously it will be helpful for your future development because this year hsc exam is delayed because of this pandemic situation but upcoming level your exam is not going to be paused for this pandemic it will be definitely held in perfect time or your schedule time what we have so today i am going to share some knowledge about a specific topic to find out the area of an triangle where three arms are given so please come onto the board i'm just giving you some lessons you see this one a triangle and this triangle have three arms a b c this one is given so if you have some sort of cq question in your exam and you find this diagram is in your cq question and we tell you to find out the area of this triangle then what you will do you will use the previous theorem the area of a triangle equals to half into base into height this one no not this one this time you have to use this theorem to calculate the area of this triangle where a b c these three arms is given okay so this one is equals to a plus b plus c divided by 2 you have to calculate first then you will find out the value of a after that you have an theorem for find out the area area goes to root over a c into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c this theorem you have you already learned in general math at geometry it's very simple and easy to find out the area of a triangle where three arms are given but this theorem you can't use directly in our c program for using c program you have to modify this theorem's structure a little bit where i show you here this sign we can't use in c program but we have a special facility in our c program so we can use a special function for this square root you see here s q r t so in the place of this diagram of square root we can use s q r t for that so in c program this theorem will be look like that s q r t bracket then s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c so now coming to the c program portion so in that c program this one what do you have first obviously you know that link section so in this link section what we linked here in this link section we linked here some a uh, header file to use a specific function or method in our c programs all over the world so this one the first header file include hashtag include stdio.h so stdio.h means what it's standard io that means standard input output.h header file this file gives you some sort of facilities to use uh, input output functions like scanf printf function 
we have to use in our C program is very randomly. It's a basic thing we, we use in our C program. So that after that we use include math.h that means mathematical function where we use in C program then this header file we must have to include in our C program. So after that we declare a main function then second bracket will start this is the main basic process of an C program's main function every main function have a uh, second bracket to start the whole program so after that we have to in main function we have two parts declarative and executive so in declarative part we have to define the data type of our C program this this C program we use float data type float a b c s and area that means in declarative type we have to mention two things number one data type and number two the all sorts of variable what you are going to use in your C program like all variables all variables name you have to mention here like you see I mentioned a b c s and area all variable names what I am going to use to my C program so after that we, I will initiate the input scanf function in a scanf function we have two portion first portion I have to declare the format specifier according to the limit of variable that means how many variables I am going to introduce or kept from the keyboard value then those sort of uh, format specifier I have to introduce here you see percentage 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 three times four why for three times because I use here a b c three variables for taking the inputs of three arms of my triangle that's why I have to use here percent f for three times so and a and b and and c to define the variable names what type we use here that means in float that's why I have to use here percent f so after that I have to do the same theorem I am going to use here a c equals to a plus b plus c divided by 2 obviously I tell you again please don't forget to put those semicolon it's very important because each and everything what you see here this one this one this one this one all are the statement and in C, in C programs basic I know you already know in every statement you must have to end with a semicolon so after that a c equals to a plus b plus c divided by 2 followed by the semicolon then we are going to use our this theorem directly in our C program area equals to SQRT that means square root in first bracket S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C that's why I ended up with my process part then I have going to introduce my output so who is carrying the output value of my C program area so if I going to print the area then obviously I will find out the result of my triangle so printf that's why I'm the uh, output and masses area of a triangle percent f then area then I will find the area of C program then second bracket will be closed now I will come to you all to my laptop screen to see how this program gonna work welcome you all to my laptop screen you see I open already dev C++ to run my today's C programs code so first of all I'm going to file option then project obviously empty project uh, this one for C project after that I just name the C project name triangle new to my project name so that after that I will just take the file name just same then I will start write coding so first of all I have to include some header files include stdio.h very common and popular header file then I will include math.h header file to calculate or initiate mathematical cal mathematical equation to my C program then I will start main function followed by two opening and closing second bracket 
in vein function we know we have two parts declaration part and executable part so first of all I have to go for declaration part so I have to I am going to take float for the data type then I will declare necessary variables ABC for three arms of a length S and X then I will end it up with semicolon because it's in a statement then I will write some word to look my program just beautiful printf enter the first value or first length I can say first length then I will take scanf for that to take input from keyboard as user need so I will use here percent %f at the parameter at format specifier part because I am using here you see already float my data type I choose here float that's why I have to use percent %f so and a first length then again so I can save the time just simply copy all those things paste here and simple change I will make first to second and A will be B after that I will put the same third length this one will be C this time after that I have to put the theorem what we already discussed in my whiteboard just this A plus B plus C divided by 2 to calculate the S after that oh it's my mistake I use here X X also okay but I use I, we will use here area so after that I have to just put the theorem area equals to s q r t mathematical function I have to use here because in theorem we have s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c so this is the theorem what we have to put here watch it carefully area s q r t first bracket then s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c so my all parts is done now I will move for my output function to show the output to my program printf you already know where my result kept my result kept in area at the variable so I am just simply area of triangle to look it better try of triangle then I can add percent percent F because I took the data type for that uh, float area 
simply area then now you will see my full program is ready what we already see in my whiteboard I'm just adding some few more words to look it nice actually so now see I'm going to make it uh, compile to see if we done any mistake or not let's see hope so wow we are lucky we have no errors and warnings we have no errors and warnings so my compile part is done now I'm going to run and see my output is okay or not you see in the in this console level my enter the first length will appear here now I will just give some random value what's come on my mind like I'm giving 25 after that I'm giving 35 and for, for third length I'll give 45 you will see my result is already shown here the area of triangle is this one thank you Allah Hafiz I hope you understand my today's videos and lectures if you have any confusion or question please do it at our whatsapp group and you can feel free to comment at my videos comment section again and again I want to tell you a simple thing please stay at home for your and your family safety Allah Hafiz this is Mahfuz Rahman from Milestone College ICT department